your girl Justine and I'm coming at you guys with a new video. So I'm super excited to be doing this video for you guys today, all right? So basically how I came up with this video was I was looking through some of my old videos and I found a video that I did four years ago, yep, four years ago, and it was an updo when my hair was a lot shorter than what it is right now. And I was like, one of the things I said in the video was, I'm not sure how this look would look on someone with longer hair because at the time my hair wasn't that long. So now I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to see if I can recreate that style while my hair is a lot longer than what it was then. So I'm super excited. Stay tuned so you guys can see if I can master this challenge or not. That's the plan though. All right, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. All right, so I'm getting the gist of how I did this. I think I'll be able to recreate it. All right, so I pretty much know what it is I need to do. I get the gist of it. I remember doing this style. This used to be one of my favorites. So please don't mind my hair. My hair is due for an ultimate retwist along with a good wash. Um, but I've already gone on ahead and like literally saturated my hair prior to starting this video just so that it would be super elastic and just free for me to, you know, pull at it and do whatever. Um, without feeling too much tension because you know so yeah so my hair is pretty much good to go so pretty much to do this hairstyle you need a water bottle the water bottle is essential because obviously if your hair is dry or you know um, you just want to add some moisture to it just to help with the elasticity and the flexibility of your strands this is necessary um, one of the things I used um, when I did it before was my three inch hairpins and I still do use three inch hairpins. I have my little brush on hand and this is just going to help with being able to, you know, slick them edges or whatever and just kind of brush my locks um, as I'm doing this. And I believe that is everything. That's all I will be needing to do this style. So let's get right on into it. So to start off, the style pretty much was like a pompadour, hump, whatever you want to call it, in the center here of my hair. Um, so I'm going to section off some hair that I'm going to use for that. So that's going to be this hair right here. So what I'm going to do is put that hair away. I'm going to use a hair tie just to kind of hold that hair in place because I'll probably do that last. Next, what I did was I kind of parted my hair and then I had left side versus right side and I kind of rolled each side in. So what I'm going to do is before I even start, I'm just going to brush my edges a little bit along with my locks. And now I'm not putting any products in my hair. Obviously, if you are going to do this style, I would recommend you know, putting some product in your hair and maybe gelling your edges down if you like or whatever. Um, this is just to challenge myself to see if I can do this style. But like I mentioned early on in the video, I am due for a wash and what have you. So I will not be putting any 
products in my hair right now. But anyhow, just brushing it to kind of tame the frizzies and just make everything look as one. All right, I'm gonna turn around. So yeah, brush, brush, brush. There, okay. So now I'm going to start with my left side and I'm gonna kind of just roll it. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna just be gentle um, with the rolling just because I don't like too much tension pulling at my edges, it's not good. So yeah. And now I've rolled it. So there's the left side done done so now i'm gonna take one of my three inch hair pins and i'm gonna just kind of tuck it in here just to kind of hold this hair in place so it don't go nowhere so this hair can stay in place actually nope i'm not doing that good all right so there we go one hair pin i'm gonna actually put one more just to secure that so it don't go nowhere because I kind of feel it coming out, yep. Maybe I'll put a couple just to <laughs> help with the, the hair so they don't start moving. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just tucking them in along the roll just to kind of help so it does not unroll. All right, so I'm gonna just put one more. Kind of in the roll, there we go. All right, so now, as you guys can see, the left side is done. I'm going to turn and move along to the right side. So same situation, same deal. Going to be gentle with the rolling, just because I don't want to pull along my edges, along my hairline. And yeah, so now the right side is pretty much rolled, and then I'm left with just this in the like kind of like a little tail in the back so same situation i'm going to take my three inch hair pin and i'm going to secure that hair in place the hair that i just rolled i don't want that roll to come undone grabbing another one and i'm going to insert all right perfect and then i'm gonna just stick one more in for safety measures. There you go. So here's what I have so far. So right side is rolled, left side is rolled. And yeah, it's looking good so far. I'm gonna take that and tuck it up. I'm gonna take it and then tuck it up into the nook of the folds. Does that make sense? All right, so the next step is taking this hair and then tucking it in here. So this is where the challenge is because my hair is a lot longer than what it was. I feel like it won't tuck in easily as it did when I did it back then. So I'm going to try anyhow. My heart is to kind of tuck it in and just try to make it look good. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just kind of fold the hair up and then... Do something like that, like kind of twist it. All right, just kind of pin it in if I can into itself. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some hair pins and try to see if I can hold this in place. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going in with the hair pins because that's what's gonna hold all of this hair in place. All right. All right. So there's that. I just tuck all that in. Okay. So there's the back. All right. Perfect. All right. So now for the top, let's see. All right. Yeah, this is don't show. So then in regards to my hump, all I did was I just as I was separating the hair to do this 
style. I just kind of took it, did something like this, I'm trying to look in the mirror at the same time. And all right, so pretty much with the front to create the little hump, what I did back then and what I'll do right now, pretty much the same thing. I'm going to just, let's see, um, take the hair, kind of, yikes, twist it, <laughs> twist it, hmm. So it is a little harder to do the pompadour with my hair being as longer, as long as it is right now, but I'm going through this. All right, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just do something a little different. There we go. Oh. Let's see. I haven't did a pompadour in a while. Usually what I do is, huh, not like that, but let me see. So this is a little, this is a little bit of a challenge for me. Just trying to get the pompadour because it seemed like I was able to easily do it back then, but I'm left with all of that. So that's a little hard, but let's see. I'm gonna just put this up a little. All right, so. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? Um, okay, um. I'm not liking it. I don't like the way that looks. I'm just gonna try to play around with it and see what I can come up with okay I like that so now the tricky part is that I've run out of three inch hairpins I've misplaced a lot of them so I don't know where they are so I'm gonna have to use the little ones but that is fine all right well I'm gonna attempt to use the little ones because they're already not working okay Okay, so there's that, and now the, I'm left with this hair right there. That don't look good. Um, what if I? Okay, just kind of. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna find some hair pins. All right, y'all. So I'm back. I found some bobby pins. And what I'm going to do is for this pompadour hair the best I can do is I'm gonna just lay the hair flat and then I'm just gonna use bobby pins to kind of hold it in place so I'm gonna do on both as you guys can see I'm doing them on both sides just to definitely hold that hair in place so it's not flying all over the place and yeah so it looks good all right and then I'm gonna do one down at the bottom okay and then I'm gonna put one more And I think that is it. Voila, this is the style. So I'm gonna do a 360. So here's the right side, the back, left side, and then the front. And there's the style. So I'm back. I threw on some earrings. I was feeling a little nude without them. But yeah, I'm super excited that I was able to recreate this style. So then one of the other fun things about this hairstyle is because the way the hair is folded and tucked in, you are definitely free to have some fun with hairpins. So I have these really cute hairpins. Um, these are super old. I had got them at a flea market years ago, and I actually wore these um, for my wedding. But these are super cute because you can, like, if you, let's say, wanted to do a style like this to go to someone's wedding or 
to, you know, do something, I don't know. Um, you can definitely use pins like these to kind of decorate the folds. And it's cute because they have the little pearls and it just looks nice. So I'm going to put them in and then show you guys what that looks like. No, I'm not putting them in like any specific order. I'm just putting them in there. So you guys can have an idea of what that would look like. All right. So yeah. So hopefully you all can see that. What that looks like. But yeah, that is super pretty. Yeah, so that's another option, um, you know, of what you could do. Definitely get some nice hairpins and um, showcase them in that fold. For anyone that's just starting their, their lock journey, um, definitely check out that video and see if you can try the style. Um, again, if you're looking for something quick, cute, and simple, um, yeah, this is the style for you. Um, and back then and even now, I still do feel like this is a, a prof like a nice professional style. You could wear it in the day, you could wear it at night, whatever you want to do with it. Um, but yeah, so I'll do another quick 360. And yeah, all right, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.